Chapter 3.1, exercise 1 through 12. This section has to do with exponential logistic functions, section 3.1. In exercises 1 through 6, which of the following is an exponential function? For those that are exponential functions, state the initial value in the base. For those that are not, explain why not. Well, here we have x to the power of 8. To have an exponential function, I'll put the four exponential function, the XP function. What do we need? We need the variable the variable as an exponent. as an exponent. And we do not have that here. So the answer to this is not exponential. And what we have is we have a monomial function. which is a type of family of polynomial function, but that's problem number one. Okay, next. Problem three. We have y equals five to the x power. And for this one, we have the exponent in the variable in the exponent place, so we have yes exponential function all right and we say our initial value we get if we plug in zero for x that's our initial value so for for our initial value we have we would have at x equals 0, we would have 5 to the power of 0, which equals 1. So, the okay, initial value one. And base, well, base is what the is being taken the exponent of. So we're going to have 5 to the x power. So our base is going to be 5. So initial value 1, base of 5. That would be our answer. And yes, exponential function. Initial value 1, base of 5. Next, y equals x to the square root of x. Well, this one here is we have a variable as a base. To be an exponential function, we need to have a constant as a base. So you would say variable base base, therefore not exponential. Okay, so we have that. Next odd number problem, 7. The next size, 7 through 10, compute the exact value of the function we give an x value without using a calculator. And so we have the function is yeah, we have f of x equals 3 times 5 to the power of x. So we will call this f of 0 
since we will be plugging in 0 for x, equals 3 times 5 to the power of 0. And for that, we would have 3 times and 5 to the power of 0. I think we worked that out in problem 5, didn't we? Problem 3. It's 1. And problem 5 we actually worked out. So we have f of 0 is equal to 3. Next problem, number 9, we have f of x equals negative 2 times 3 to the power of x. And so for that, we're going to say f of 1 third equals negative 2 times 3 to the power of 1 third. Now, we looked recently, I think, in the last exercise, is that this, we have this in a rational. So, so 3 to the 1 third power is going to be the same as cube root of 3. So 3 to the 1 third power is rational form. I'll just put rational form. Whereas the cube root of 3 is what we call radical form. So we can finally rewrite this as f f of 1 third is equal to negative 2 times the cube root of 3. And that will be our answer to problem number 9. Problem number 11. In exercise 11.12, determine a formula for the exponential function whose values are given in the table below. So basic format of exponential function, okay, we would have, we would have f of x equals, we would have an initial value, we'll call this, I don't know, v sub 0 for initial value, times our base to the power of our variable. That's what we're going to have. And so for our initial value at, at 0, if we have f of 0, that would be v sub 0 times b to the power of 0. Well, b to the power of 0 is 1. So we'd have essentially f of 0 would be our initial value. So in this case, looking at the table, we have a table x, f of x, at x equals 0. That is going to be our initial value. That's where the function starts. So, uh, f of x, f of x is going to be equal to our initial value, which is 3 over 2, or if we decimalize, 1.5. And next, we kind of look at the, how much is the function increasing? Well, if we, to go from 3 halves to 3 fourths, we div we're dividing by 2 or multiplying by 1 half. And then if we multiply 3 fourths by 1 half, we get 3 eighths times 1 half. And so 1 half is going to be our base. And so If we multiply by one half once, we get uh, for input of one, a second time for an input of two. 
So our variable is going to be going out here. I mean, uh, our variable is going in exponential place. And so this is going to be our answer right here. F of x equals 3 over 2, 3 halves of 1 half to the power of x. This is kind of the function for a half-life if you have one half the power so so that would be something that I hope might connect later on for what you're doing in this chapter three anyway good luck with your even number problems and thanks for viewing